FX strategies are going to change your trading experience using a simple balance system. Current Forex trading system represents a well thought out and very simple combination of indicators. Knowing what signal to look for with each indicator provides a strong tip for good entries and exits. These indicators are the 5 unit and 10 unit EMA indicators, stochastic lines, and a relative strength index. It can occur during any time frame with any currencies. These are the entry and exit rules. They're very simple. There's basically just three of them that deal with those three indicators. As you can see right here, we have the price profit of the currency listed with the five unit indicator in red and the 10 unit indicator in green. And so we are looking based on our three simple rules for the five unit indicator to cross above the 10 unit indica indicator, which happens right here. But we also need the other three indicators to confirm each other. So in the relative strength index over 14 units, you can see right here at about the exact same time it hits the 50 level and then crosses above right where we have this vertical line drawn. And finally in the stochastic indicators lines you can see that the fast line is always leading the slow line and right here it's pulling up the slow line so that both lines are going up but not above the 80 level which is considered the overbought level. So right here is the point in time where all three of our indicators are first at the proper indication. They're all, they all three coincide with the indications that they should be providing for us to buy. So this is the point when you want to buy and enter this market. And then as you can see, the five unit exponential moving average stays above the slower moving average. So that's good. That's that's signaling this upward trend right here. But then right here it crosses below it again. And this is one of our exit indicators. And this is definitely something you want to watch out for. And also right here on the RSI, we can see it's bouncing down against the 50 right here, which is a big warning. And as well, the stochastic indicators are the right here. You can see that the fast line is crossed below the slow line, which is usually typically seems to be a, an indication of a downward trend. So you don't necessarily want to wait for like right here. You haven't waited for it to completely cross below the 50. You don't need all three indicators to exit always almost always be ready to make an exit before you're ready to make a buy that will keep you on the safe side and then as you can see right here maybe this not quite crossing below the 50 could have been an indication of this that it the downward trend didn't really it sort of was like a, a, a plateauing trend or a leveling equalizing trend right here so maybe you didn't have to exit right there but anyway that's signaling that. But then you can see right here again, the 5 unit EMA crosses back above the 10 unit EMA right here, which is a good early indicator in this case. And the RSI is above 50, and the stochastic indicators are pulling up as well. And they're within the, um, the not overbought or oversold window here. So that would probably be a good time to buy back in and as you can see there's a definite upward trend that seems to be happening right here so it's really it's that simple it's just these three indicators basically and you have a fast moving indicator and then you have a little bit slower of an average moving indicator here so these being uh, if you're familiar with simple moving averages and exponential moving averages, 
a simple moving average is more of a consistent type of, uh, of an average. These exponential moving averages take the most recent data and weigh it a little more heavily than the a little bit older data. So, and if this was a five day unit moving average, then um, it would, you know, or five hour, it would bring in the last couple of hours and consider them a little bit more. And so you're basically kind of doubling up on that idea, so to speak, when you bring in the 10 unit moving average. So the, uh, the lines themselves are sort of like, allowing the recent trending data to be a little more heavy and then you have two separate lines that is one is a little bit quicker reacting than the other one so these turn out to be really good indicators here they show you that trend versus the uh, the slightly longer term and um, it basically compiles from right here these are exponential moving averages and then the next one would be these stochastic uh, indicator lines and they can also be uh, exponential moving averages or in other cases they could be simple moving averages if you wanted them to be and these could as well sometimes on like more of like fundamentalist kind of stock investing that's what people might lean towards and then the RSI is actually a stochastic oscillator so that gives you this medium point that you're sort of like oscillating around and that's the way that that works and that tells you which side of the market sort of has the the pressure on it that's what it's supposed to indicate so anyway that's a that's the long explanation of the of the simple simple thing you just follow those when when the short EMA goes above the long EMA your RSI is above 50 is above half and your stochastic lines are in the safe zone and they're pulling up that's it when you have all three of those that is a good buy confirmation right there when one or more of these trends the exit trends that we talked about the 5 EMA crosses below the 10 EMA Stochastic lines are heading south. Stochastic is not in the oversold position, and the RSI is below 50. Those are pretty good indicators for do you want to consider exiting? But maybe not. Maybe not if all three of them aren't full. That's that's up to you. Study these charts for yourself. And then right here, of course, we have all three indicators and a nice upward trend following. It's that easy. Thank you.